Um, OK. So, so Judy, how are you? That's the first thing. I'm absolutely fabulous. I oh. mean to say, you know, I've, I've had a wonderful time through this lockdown. I wish we could do it again. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> it's, oh, yes, I think so, because it's been very quiet. And then you come back to here and everybody's gone absolutely mad. <laughs> so that's what I think. It'd be quite nice to have a, a lockdown a year, right, of, uh, so we say, uh, 11 months of the year. <laughs> right. And one month of the <laughs> No, I, we need to get back to normality as fast as we can. But, uh, you know, the services are doing wonderful. I, I do appreciate them. And um, so it would be, be nice for them to get back to some sort of normality as well. But, uh, you know, you, you, you tend to live the things out. We've got to remember that, you know, my, my parents were in the, the war for six, four, five, six years. So this yes. is nothing, really. So, so people start grumbling and just get on with life. That's what, that's what I'd, I'd put across. Yes? Come out and have a look at the nice wild flowers, what have you, and you'll, you'll go back to square one again, <laughs> down the pub. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, or in a cafe. Yeah, or in a cafe, yes. Sleep it outside, of course. <laughs> right, but, yeah. But, you know, I think we're, we're getting there in the way, in the way, you know, things people... I, mean, I, I find it very easy to do this social distancing. I've come accustomed to it. Right. And I think, I think we should do it more often, just for normality, you know, and kindness towards other people. There you go. Yes. I've said my, I've said my piece now. Yes. <laughs> well, that... I'll send you the bill. <laughs> OK. Well, that, that, all makes, that all makes sense. Good. Right, so at the moment I'm out the back of the studio. If people know where the Phoenix is, there's a lovely garden here. It's nice and quiet, so you can get away from people. So know. you're in the you're in the Rougemont Gardens. I am. Yes, I just, I came up here for just to get away from the all the mass of people going bananas. <laughs> well, yes, no, it's 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 getting more and more lively in Exeter, isn't it? It, it, it is. It's, I've noticed that, you know, you have to be very care very careful now. You have to be much more aware than, so to say, a week ago, you know, because people are now sort of, uh, you know, you, you go to a lot of the stores now and they've got queues galore. I've never seen so many. I thought it was Christmas time. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, all of, all, of, all of that. JD, did you, did you hear Chris and I, we were talking about this idea of a, a temporary mobile studio. Right, what, in a caravan or, or just set up anywhere? Well, I, it depends if we could get any, any space. Um, right, oh, I see. So it's a space within another building. Well, it might be. It might yeah. be. I mean, if you, if okay. you, if you remember, that the, there was this... Um, we could make proposals for a sort yeah. of art event which would right. might, might find some space in an empty shop. Right, right, OK. But it, it turned out to be fine art, had to be visual. Um, right, But right. if we, if we, if we could make... Nom no, nominate what fine art is, that's, that's the thing, I think. Uh, because I know Exeter is quite uh, up on this. Well, yes. Looking at, looking at the uh, Museum and Art Gallery from here. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm just wondering about... So, yes, it's, um, I was thinking that we... That what would be nice for Exeter is a walk-in studio where anybody can go and prepare anything for any of the arts. Right. So, so Chris could go in with his wheelchair and go into a programme with all the technical stuff that he's going to need and produce something. Right. So, uh, so it uh, makes the broadcasting much better and it also it will advertise Exeter as a whole. So that's what I'm, I'm looking for. The, um, you can set up your know, sort of mini things for a small time, but I think you want a long-term project. I think. So this would this would be a permanent space. A permanent space with with all the access for disabled people. Anybody can go in there and book some time, or you know maybe turn up for one studio. You could have that as well. You right. know, if somebody's got inspiration. So it would be. Uh, an easy accessible studio that's what I'm which uh, I think we need so that uh, you can take your piece away and then put it wherever you want to you know on, on any medium or whatever or move it on I've always said that you know Exeter will be quite good because of the 
university and all that sort of thing. So you've got you've got the uh, the talents here, shall we say? Right. It's a matter. It's a matter of making, you know, nurturing it. Yes, JD, you've, you've su- I don't know why, but you've suddenly got quite a lot louder. I've got quite a lot louder, louder as well. Really? It's well, all I, gone. I no, it wasn't. I don't think it was you. Some it's the yeah. um, it's the studio somehow. Oh, right. I think it's the studio. I'm, well, I'm the same. I'm, 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 I've got a few squirrels around me. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I don't think they're making any difference. Well, they might be pedalling a bit faster on your <laughs> power supply. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. la- lady, I'll just say, if, if people are listening to this and are one, if the sound levels have gone... You, usually there is more than one person in the studio. That's all I'm going to say in my defence. Yes. Yes. But, but anyway... But at the moment, you see, we don't need to with this technology. We could, we could probably have a, as I say, a studio which goes into a studio, right? You know, from a distance. So, you know, you don't have to have anybody in that studio no. to make, you know, to, to broadcast from somewhere else in the in the city, right? So, it's, it's, you see what I mean? It's yes. A, um, I'm just trying to think of which way. I can't think of a radio station which does that, but it'd be quite a, an interesting topic, really. Well, in the long run, yes. But JD, look in in the in the mean, meanwhile, in the interim, the, yeah, the, there are going to be spaces, um, retail space, maybe maybe office mm. space, but it, right. b- because of the the general situation, the the what what is going to happen in the middle of a city is up for discussion, mm-hmm. uh, and so there might be sort of temporary versions of what you're proposing. Well, that's what I think. Is you've got the, the Harlequin sitting there. And yes, that's a lot of space. There, that's a lot of space. And you could, we could put a, a, this sort of thing in there, easily accessible for everybody, go on the bus and, and college can use it and that sort of thing. So it's putting, it's finding a place which is easily accessible for any radio station which you have here. You have a lot, a lot of radio stations now based or um, put their signal into Exeter so it's, it's time for them to, to sort of give back by you know allowing allowing us uh, non-professionals yeah, yeah. <laughs> I say that, non-professionals to go go and be a part of it because they they will learn as well you know their, their own what's happening in their own you know environment yes yes well um I suppose the other thing to ask you is yeah. if you can make a case for sound as an art form or radio right. as an art form. Right, OK. Because that might open up various possibilities. Well, as I said, with, with, with a studio, you could do that as well. You could open up um, an art bo- thing within the, within the studio area. And, um, yeah, I'm not so saying... But, but, but look... JD, somehow we've got to make, we've got to try and try and argue argue a case that the the rad, radio um, potentially is an art form, and I'm not saying that what we do is art. I'm well, just it is. Uh, well, it's, it, vocal, well, it's vocal art, I think. It's um, it's uh, how you produce your programmes and how they convey the other ends. So I think it is an art. It's like going to look at a, a fantastic painting somewhere. You can all get different interpretations of it, don't you? Uh, yes, people. Well, certainly, people make their own opinion of what's what's going on. Yes, yes. that's that's why I feel is is the thing is to um, we 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 got to do it somewhat different, you know. And the phonic it goes that way in in that spectrum and can link up with other radio stations or other sound or uh, alternatives. Then it will make it a much better, to say, a much more up to date sort of uh, broadcast medium. So you, you think other radio stations should be involved as well in this, this sort of I idea? Think they, I, think, I think they should work together, really. I, all this separateness is just, you know, you, know, you turn on the, you know, on the radio. See, on, on, on the internet now, you've got apps which can go right around the world. So I, I could yeah. listen to a radio station, you know, which is m- a million miles away. Yeah. It clear as a bell. So, you know, why, why don't we, uh, you know, put something which is in this area, and because it's geared towards the arts and the universities and what have you, and you, they, the university also has a radio station. So, why isn't that linked to a main one which will broadcast around the world? 
Well, yeah. So it's, it makes Exeter one step further than most other cities or, or towns. Yeah, well, it's possible. What, what, do, you, what do you make of, of the sound quality from uh, streaming services? Because during, during this pandemic, we've, we've all been using things like Zoom and yeah. uh, FaceTime yeah. or whatever, and um, it does it's sort of quite, work, but do, do, it you think it's, work. do you think it's a, a reasonable uh, way of doing things? Well, it is if you're <laughs> a million miles away from the studio, yes. You know, if you're <laughs> on the beach and you're trying to broadcast somewhere, yes. It's a, a, a cool way of doing it because, you know, you, <laughs> you can't make a phone call, you know, landline. So this is probably the best way of doing it. So, yes, I sound a bit echoey now. Yeah. Can you hear that? Yes. I'm, down, I'm walking in through a tunnel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> so this is sound for you, you see. I can walk along and I can say, OK, where do you think I am? Oh, you know, you're in a tunnel. Uh, well... Very small shops together. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right? So you can you can do that sort of thing. You yeah, well can, yes. Be yes. Ma- imagination going. Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah. But you haven't got smell because there's a lot of smell in here. No, the, we can't do smell <laughs> by radio. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but no. We, it's by putting us, which we are not actually we don't actually do this as a job. No, you know I mean? no. We, we probably have much more, you know, say on it. In a way, we can um, we can uh, suggest things and say, you know, this is what would be quite good for Exeter or the surround, you know, as far as Exmouth or whatever. Yes. Whatever it goes to. Yeah, because I'm I'm sure there are. Um, I'm just I'm just yeah you know, I'm going I'm going to start winding down very shortly. Um, yes. Okay. Because, but, 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 no, carry on, carry on talking, okay. JD. I'm just looking yeah. in my. Um, right. Uh, oh yeah, here we are. Yes, there's mm. there's various things I wanted to mention, um, mm. because this this sound quality thing, um, mm. we've got to work on it. I I suspect there'd be ways you could have a proper microphone plugged into a board or something, and we could get a better sound back to the studio. Even oh, though you were basically wandering around. Yes, yes, you you, you could do all that. I, that's why I say that somebody will come up with this technology that it, you you outside will sound like you're inside. Yes. There you go. Yes, that, that's what we're looking for. That, so yeah. when you when you go to some sort of fate or whatever, it will sound like you're in the studio still. Yes. Quality wise. Yes. Yes. That's what we're looking for. Yes. Yeah. It's, o- it's okay by mobile phones. That's fine. That's quick and easy and uh, I've just walked past your next person coming out for your next programme oh ok <laughs> right well <laughs> I better there you go well there you go like, I think I know who you mean ok yes, look JD can, right. I, can I just mention um, yes, and then yes, I'm going to start winding down because we're, we're I think I've got to leave the studio before they arrive right you have so, so he's on his on his way now ok, okay. well that's <laughs> good to know don't go don't go too far JD and I'll be with you no, shortly I'm, I'm but look, I think you would want to know this, so I'm going to yeah. mention this before you hang up. Yeah. Um, Tech Exeter, yeah. who um, they did have a show on Font FM more, uh, a while ago, yeah. but they they're into the streaming business because the conference they did last year they had to do it online, mm-hmm. and so they get into video as well as sound. Mm-hmm. But there's a very interesting short video, fairly short video that they've uploaded. So what you need to search for is the ATEM ATEM Mini Video Follows Audio Auto Switcher app. Right. Did okay. you write that down, JD? Uh, I, well, I can't actually. So I'm actually just below the Phoenix uh, without a pen. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, well, look, I'll put uh, it. I'll put it. I'll put it on the Facebook group, the Wild Show yes, Facebook group. That that be that be a good place. Yes, I can. I can get into that. Yeah, um, okay. Um, because obviously, I think, and I think, I think they will hire out their kit, their kit. But right. they, they, okay. they're, they're, they're clearly getting it, getting a technical solution. Mm. And it, as some of this kit, you could put into a temporary space in the in the high street mm. somewhere. I think. Oh right, right, okay. Well, these things that you've got to put out somewhere, haven't we? Really, it's uh, you know, sort of if if it comes from a radio station or a setup, then. 
it might happen. You never know. He's here. He's here. He's, he's, t- he's, he's 24 here. minutes early. <laughs> <laughs> okay, J- JD. Day. Look, this is um. Yes. Th- no, look, we're about to. We're, we'll have to renegotiate regulations now. I was planning to leave, okay. but um. Okay. I'll, I'll right. see. I'll see you very soon. Very soon. Yes. Yes. If you come out, I'll meet you. How about that? Okay. That sounds. Okay. That sounds great. I'll come out the. Okay. The forest gate way, sort of way. <laughs> <laughs> come the fire, okay. Okay. Stay okay, well. Mate. See you in a minute. Bye. Bye then. <laughs>